Hi friends, maybe you have watched many videos about plagiarism, but if you clicked on my video, you might still have some doubts and questions. Today's video is super important and if you miss any part of this video, you may miss some crucial information about plagiarism. In fact, plagiarism is a big problem for the content creators in any profession. In this video, I will show you step by step with examples and explain about what actually plagiarism is and how you can detect plagiarism in your content, especially in your AI content and how you can remove plagiarism from your content by using free tools. And I will also give you some tips and a live example on how to remove plagiarism by rephrasing your content and by using free AI tool. So my friends, today's video is very important as I am going to clear some misconceptions about plagiarism. And after watching this video, I am sure you will be able to detect plagiarism from your content and ensure it passes all the plagiarism checks. So without wasting more time, Let's do it. Now, first to remove plagiarism, we need to understand about plagiarism. What actually plagiarism is? Let me explain you with an example. This is my blog digitcrafter.com and I also use chat GPT and Gemini to write content. And then I find plagiarism from my content and remove it by using AI tool. I shall show you everything. So this is my blog digitcrafter.com. Now as an example, let's open this article. Now for example, in this article, this is the first sentence in my article. Now here you tell me, for example, if someone copy my this sentence and paste this sentence as it is in their content. So in this case, you tell me, is it plagiarism? No, it's not plagiarism. Why it's not plagiarism? Because this sentence, it is a common phrase and it's not a unique idea and it's also not a substantial portion of text. Let me give you another example. This is the second sentence of my article. Now this sentence is research based and this research belongs to me. In this sentence, I explained about a tested strategy about my experience and I also published a video about my this research. If you go to my YouTube channel and let me show you the specific video. So this is the video. As you can see in the thumbnail, I explained the same strategy in my article here. So this sentence belongs to my research and experience. But if someone take my this idea, my this research and mention this idea research in their content in any form such as after rephrasing it. So this is actually plagiarism. Taking my idea, my research and mentioning it in their content without giving credit to me, to my content. Why? Why is that? Because they stole my idea, my research and they mentioned this idea as it is in their content. So this is actually plagiarism. I shall explain you in more detail how is it is plagiarism. Just keep watching this complete video. Now if someone copy this content and write it in another form by giving the credit of this idea directly to me. For example, if someone copy this idea and go to their content, let me open my Google Docs here and paste this line here. Now if someone give credit to me for this idea, for example, if someone write at start of this sentence according to digit crafter, no, when someone writes my content in this way, then this is not the plagiarism. Why it's not plagiarism? Because that person is giving credit to me for this content by writing these words according to digit crafter. So in this way, if you copy someone else's content, someone else's idea or research and you want to mention it in your own content, then you need to provide the citation for that content. As I showed you in this example, I write these words according to Digit Crafter. So if you write content in this way, that will not fall under plagiarism. Now with this example, I am sure you have an idea what is plagiarism. Now let's move to know how plagiarism detector work, how online plagiarism detectors perform actions at backend. And it's very important to know if you want to detect and remove plagiarism from your content. Now let me explain you with an example that how online plagiarism detectors work. And if I copy the first part of my content, copy all these paragraphs and then go to an online plagiarism detector that is Grammarly plagiarism checker. Now paste my content here and then click on scan for plagiarism. And friends, here is the result. You can see here, it writes we did not find any plagiarism. So my content is free from plagiarism. Why Grammarly did not find any plagiarism in my content? Because I am only the person to publish this content. This is my research. This is my idea. Now let me show you an interesting thing that online plagiarism detector mark my own content with plagiarism. And this is strange, at least not strange for me. 
because I know how these own and plagiarism detectors work. So for example, if I go to my another article, for example, this one here, own page SEO, open this article. And in this article, I copied a small part of my content from my previous article. Let me show you, go to this article and you can see this line here, note down this line, go to my another article and find this line in this article. And let me show you where this line is. Here it is. That is the line. You can see here, I mentioned this line as it is. That is copied from my this article. So you can see, this is the article that I published on 19th June. And then in my second article, that is published on 25th June. And I pasted the same content. Here you can see, this is the same line. Now let me show you that interesting thing. If I copy this paragraph, copy this paragraph and then go to plagiarism checker, remove this one and paste my that paragraph here and then click on scan for plagiarism. And this is very interesting thing that I am going to show you with example. And friends, you can see here Grammarly detected plagiarism in my own content. It writes we have found significant plagiarism. As you can see in this example, this is my own content, my own idea, my own research and still Grammarly detected it with plagiarism. Now let me show you the exact lines that Grammarly marked with plagiarism. If I go to an online tool, for example, supersitetools.com and here search for AI plagiarism checker. Open this AI plagiarism checker and then paste my same content here and then click on check for plagiarism. And you can see friends, it detected the same lines. That is my idea, my own research. You can see here, these lines are marked with plagiarism. So why is that? Why online plagiarism detectors marked my own content with plagiarism? As I showed you this example, you tell me, is it plagiarism? Technically, it's not plagiarism. But in the sense of online plagiarism detectors, it is plagiarism. And now my friend, that is the important part that I want to explain you. That is how online detectors mark my own content with plagiarism. This is the important point that I want to bring into your attention. In fact, when you submit your text to online plagiarism detectors, they compare your text with a vast database of text. So how this system work? Let me show you with an example. For example, this article here, this is the paragraph. Online plagiarism checker, take your content and break them into smaller parts, such as small phrases and sentences. Like if you go to super site tools, it breaks our content into smaller parts. And then these small phrases and sentences are compared with a huge database of text. And this database of text includes academic papers, websites, articles, and other sources. So in this way, online plagiarism checkers look for the similarities. They try to find the same sentence, same phrase that is break into small part and then compare it with that database of text. Their algorithm instantly detect that your content has plagiarism. And when the comparison report of uh, plagiarism detector is complete, then these plagiarism detectors generate a report. Like you can see here, these sentences here, this is the report. And if you go to plagiarism checker, this is the report of plagiarism checker. It simply showed us that they have found the plagiarism. So these softwares also highlight the percentage of the text. Like you can see here, this AI plagiarism detector shows us that 0% unique content because I mentioned the same content in my another article. And as I explained you, technically it's not plagiarism. So based on this mechanism that I explained you, both Grammarly and AI plagiarism checker by Super Site Tools marked my content with plagiarism because I copied and used my already published content in my another article. Now, if your content is unique and based on your own research, you of course then don't need to check it for plagiarism. It's my opinion. In fact, if your content has something valuable information or this content is based on your own research, then your content will definitely rank on Google. Now, here is my favorite part that how you can remove plagiarism from your content by using free AI tool. And not only this, this tool also help you to humanize your content, to convert AI content into human form. So let me show you this tool. If you go to a website, aiwebranker.com, and by the way, this is my own website. These are free digital marketing tools and you can use these digital marketing tools for unlimited time. So let me show you how you can remove plagiarism and convert your AI content into human content. So you need to use this tool. If you go to free AI content tools, here you will find AI 
paraphrasing tool click on this tool and then go back to our article copy the same paragraph that is marked with plagiarism copy this paragraph and then go to ai paraphrasing tool paste my paragraph here and friends you can see here that this ai paraphrasing tool only support 500 characters at this moment why i have applied this limit because i want to keep these scammers away we shall increase the words limit so let's get back to it i paste my paragraph here that is rejected with plagiarism now click on this paraphrase button and you can see friends it's asking us to log in so click on the login button and here i already have my account on this site and then click on login but if you need to create an account you can go to here register here it will ask you to create your account first and then you can log in into your account so friends after logging in let's get back to this page and here paste our paragraph and then click on paraphrase button and friends you can see here this is our paraphrased text now to check plagiarism from this content copy this content and then go back to plagiarism checker paste our paraphrased text here and then click on scan for plagiarism and friends you can see here there is not any plagiarism in our content and not only this this ai paraphrasing tool optimized our paragraph by making correction in spellings grammar punctuation readability word choice additional writing issues so in short this ai paraphrasing tool by ai web ranker helps you to remove plagiarism from your content and also this ai paraphrasing tool helps you to make ai content into human form so this is absolutely free you can use this ai paraphrasing tool for unlimited time and i also use this tool for my own articles and friends if you need any assistance or you face any trouble in using this ai paraphrasing tool you can contact with me you can comment below in this video and i shall be more than happy to provide you my assistance using the tips and techniques that i have discussed in this video you can confidently detect and remove plagiarism from your content and if you remove plagiarism by using this method it will help you to rank on google so if you are a blogger a youtuber or a digital marketer these tips and techniques will help you to maintain integrity of your work and build trust with your audience and friends if you found this video helpful make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tips on digital marketing ai tools and creating high quality content and friends also hit the bell icon so you never miss my upcoming videos and also i would love to hear from you leave your comment below in this video with your thoughts or any questions that you have in your mind and if you want to explore more topics on digital marketing or you want to get help for your any topic you can go to my blog digitcrafter.com where i regularly publish my content related to digital marketing ai seo affiliate marketing and much much more and friends thank you for watching see you in next video take care